here's Joseph and his brothers. Joseph is the one in the middle. He's got his arms crossed over his chest. That is um, something we'll take a look at. Damiano Mascagni. 1579 to 1636. I like this painting. I included it in my book, Star Myths of the Bible. There's some celestial indicators here. First of all, there's a Milky Way River in the background. Then we've got Joseph with his arms crossed and also distinctively looking in the opposite direction from the way his body is looking so, or facing. So his body's facing one way. He's looking the other way. That's a celestial indicator that we've seen before. And then one of his brothers over his head is making this kind of pointing hand gesture horizontally. There's lots of other celestial indicators in here. Um, the person that that hand gesture that I just indicated is talking to is wearing a red Phrygian cap. I don't know if that's one of the Midianites there. The Phrygian cap is associated with a different constellation, Perseus, that we've looked at previously. Um, not one of the zodiac signs. But then you've also got a brother getting the pieces of silver in his shirt front and holding a cloth in between two hands to receive the money. We'll see this holding a cloth in between two hands in artwork again and again. That is a celestial reference, too, that we'll talk about. But right now, let me just talk about the ones that I have those three arrows on. There's the Milky Way. You can see the Milky Way in the, in the sky. And just to the left of the Milky Way, as we look at it, just as Jacob is just to the left of the river, there is, oh, well, there's the Milky Way. Sorry. Just to the left of that is the constellation Sagittarius. And I argue that the coat of many colors also could be many pieces could be associated with Sagittarius. Sagittarius is a constellation that has many little sections. It's like a patchwork of little sections. And it's got a long coat or cloak or looks like a dress. In some myths, Sagittarius plays a beautiful woman in a long dress. But Sagittarius has a bow, but the bow is sometimes interpreted as praying hands. We saw that in the very beginning of the part one of our Celestial Bible Tour, where we saw all the wives of um, the Kaliyanag, when Krishna was dancing on the heads of the Kaliyanag. The Kaliyanaga is associated with Scorpio, and the wives were all coming up out of the water with their hands folded together in the Anjali Mudra, the praying hands gesture, and they're associated with Sagittarius. So the Bow of Sagittarius, interestingly enough, can be interpreted as like crossed hands or folded hands. So I think in this artistic depiction, Joseph is being associated with Sagittarius because I think that's where he kind of starts, down at the bottom of the Milky Way. And the other characteristic of Sagittarius that's very distinctive in these paintings is looking one way and walking the other way, or appears to be kind of in two directions. If you look at Sagittarius, it looks like the constellation is kind of walking off to the left, but you can see the bow is pointing off to the right and the head is apparently looking off to the right. So it's like the Sagittarius figure itself has this looking back characteristic to it that comes out in many stories, like the story of Lot's wife who looks back at Sodom and Gomorrah. So that's what I think is going on in this painting. We've talked about the Milky Way. We've talked about Sagittarius. What about that hand gesture? Well, right next to Sagittarius is this little goat who has horns coming out of his head. That's how I like to draw the outline of Capricorn. That's Capricorn the goat right next to Sagittarius. That's why Sagittarius figures are often tending flocks. They're out, you know, they're shepherds. Um, and that little hand gesture we'll see in other artwork for other Bible stories later on, I believe to be associated with the horns of Capricorn. So we'll see that later on. 